look at this Jeep Cherokee Anniversary Edition. It's in absolutely immaculate condition and it's done just 88,000 kilometres. It's a CRD which makes it a turbo diesel. I haven't seen a lot of turbo diesel anniversary editions. And 88,000 kilometres for a diesel, as I'm sure you would know, is very low. The Limited came with leather seats, a sunroof, and it's black, as you can see, with light grey leather interior. It's got an Alpine CD player, and the car drives particularly well. I've driven it. It's got a good service history. It's serviced up to date. It's got the very nice Jeep, five-spoke alloy wheels, and a factory tow bar. For a black family SUV, it's in remarkable condition. There's the Jeep tow bar there. It's got two remote keys to it. The back seats fold down. It's got its rear cargo barrier. Here's all the books. It's got a six stack of CD. It's even got a power outlet at the back, which is great. I think these represent excellent value for money. Especially when you consider it's a top of the range vehicle in black with a turbo diesel engine and under 100,000 kilometres. It's just come into us last night. We're just giving it a, a quick wash. And it really has come up very well. It is quite rare to find a black family car of this age in this condition. It's got the original factory mats. It's got high range, low range. It's two wheel drive or four wheel drive. And, and the benefit of that is that you don't really need all wheel drive or four wheel drive around town. You're burning up a lot more fuel for no reason. So for a car like this thing, it's much, much better to have it in two-wheel drive around town and then you can put in four-wheel drive if you're on a dirt road or doing off-road or if it's very rainy conditions, you can also put it into four-wheel drive, obviously. And there's really not a lot of four-wheel drives you can do that with. Many years ago, with the old four-wheel drive system, most four-wheel drives were two-wheel drive and you'd actually have to get out of the car lock the front centre hubs to engage four wheel drive and uh, as annoying as that was the good thing was they were quite economical because back then you had four litre overhead cams six cylinder engines which are incredibly thirsty but because they were only it was only running two wheels it wasn't too bad whereas these days they're all all wheel drive or full time four wheel drive so I think it's really good that it's got that option. But if you have been looking at these Jeeps and you'd really like to get a Limited with all the gear on it, then I think this is a car worth looking at. Thank you for taking the opportunity to watch our video today. We're located in Marrickville and we are the old timer centre. Thank you so much for watching.